everyone is speaking about what happened at the Grammys, how demonic and how satanic it is and was, but for some reason, no one is speaking about the obvious. What's the obvious? Well, here it is. Before I get too far into what the actual obvious is, since we're blaming and since we're looking for not just who's at fault, what's happening, aren't we? shouldn't we be talking about what the solution is, or at least should be, or at least what we're told the solution is, who the solution is? I know you're probably thinking one thing, but let me just play a couple of clips and then maybe you'll see my point. Another Grammys, another disgusting, demonic display. As you can see, I mean, straight up satanic. Look, him in a devil horn thing, his whole suit. I mean, seductive stuff right here. I mean, uh, it's just... The 2023 Grammys was full of satanic mess. It's right in front of your face now. They're not even hiding it. Satan entered Grammys Awards. Now, I'm a pastor of a local church as well as I post YouTube content. As a Christian, who is involved in a spiritual warfare and deliverance, this is concerning. So what I don't understand, and I get pushed back, I'm told that I'm a Pharisee, that I, I'm told that I, I don't believe, I don't have the Holy Spirit, I don't have enough faith, but you guys do. Vlad, you do. Marcus, you do. Daniel, you do. You guys say that you have this power. You've literally said that greater works than he did. That's Jesus, John 14, 12, let's put it on the screen. Jesus says that truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also and greater works will he do. And you're saying you've told us over and over again that you have been given, you've been commanded to go out and cast out demons. You've even stated that whenever you see a demon, that you have no fear that you are going to cast out a demon whenever you have the opportunity to. So my question is, why didn't you? You guys are so outraged. Why didn't you do it? Here we've got these people in the entertainment world who are literally influencing other people who are entertaining people and they're doing so, of course you agree, under the power of a demonic spirit, a demon, the devil, all these things. And I can agree with some of the things that you're saying, but my question is, why did you do anything? Recall the little slave girl in Acts. Paul, who has the same power that you guys have, who has the ability to cast out demons, Let's recall what Paul did. In Acts 16, 16, he says that it happened as they were going to the place of prayer. A slave girl having a spirit of divination met us. Now, you guys call this this Python spirit and so forth. That's fine. We'll leave that there. But you said you've dealt with Python spirits. As a matter of fact, you cast demons out of people's back, a Python. Last night, we were at the church uh, very late, casting out devils out of people, um, probably three or four hours after the service. And I had one of the most craziest experiences that I've had, like casting out devils. And I've seen a lot of crazy stuff, right? Uh, but we pulled the snake out of a woman's back, right? So let's continue. This python spirit, this spirit of divination, met us, who was bringing her masters much profit by fortune telling. So this little girl was used for entertainment purposes. She was bringing in money and she had a demon. And what was she doing? She was mocking them and mocking God. Following after Paul and us, she kept crying out, saying, These men are bond servants of the Most High God, who are proclaiming to you the way of salvation. She continued doing this for many days, but Paul was greatly annoyed and turned and said to the Spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it came out at that very moment. My question is, since you have the same power and greater works you will do, why don't you do the same thing? I know you're going to say, well, wait a second, we're not there. And I'm not being silly. I'm just following your lead, what you said. Why don't you cast the demon out of, not this little girl, but cast the demon out of the people that you say are demonic? Beyonce, for example. Cast the demon out of, what's the, the, the bad bunny guy? Cast the demon out of the, what's the gay guy with the horns on his hat? Cast the demons out of them. Now, I know you're not there, but lest we forget. Holy Ghost, follow her life. That's right. You witchcraft spirit. What's your name? Huh? <laughs> What's your name, demon? <laughs> All of you. Every last one of you. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Come out of her body. Mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fall on her body. Mighty name of Jesus. Fear. The demon of fear of losing a job. The demon of fear of getting married. The demon of fear of getting sick. Come out right now. Come out right now. 
Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Move. Move. Move out right now in the name of Jesus. Pack your bags and go. Addiction to chocolate. Addiction to pop. Bedwetting. Addiction to habitual lip biting in the name of Jesus. Compulsion. Knuckle cracking. Tantrums and fits. Thumb sucking. Move in the name of Jesus. You guys have the ability to cast out demons via the internet airways. You can do it on social media. You can just call them out. And you don't have to have permission because I don't recall one time in the Bible where Jesus or the disciples ever asked the person who was demon possessed, is it okay if I cast a demon out? No, they just called them out. They cast a demon out without the demon's permission, against the demon's will. Why can't you do that? Seeing how many people are being influenced by this, why don't you do the same thing? I think I know the reason why. Could it be possibly that you're not who you say you are? So if they have a demon, um, they need to be delivered. Deliverance exposes hirelings. Jesus said, how do you know a hireling from a shepherd? When warfare comes. Could it be that you are, you are the fraud that we claim you to be? Maybe you don't have the power. Maybe you can only do it in a comfortable confines in church where someone is willing to play the role. But these people won't go along with you. And if we all believe, and I believe there's demonic influence happening there, but you say that you can do it, you can call, cast a demon out, I say the only way that a demon is cast out, the only way a person is set free is by their faith in Christ and the Holy Spirit coming to stay in them because that's the only way that a person can be set free. Whom the Son is set free, he's free indeed. The Spirit of God in him is greater than anything or anyone in the world. You disagree. You believe that laying on your hands and casting a demon out, that's the way to go by doing it. Why don't you do it? If you got to have, if you got to be close in proximity, why don't you go to LA? Why don't you go to New York? Why don't you go to these places that just cast that demon out? Go to preaching so when they hear you as they walk by the red carpet or as they're out somewhere drinking their lattes or what have you, you're preaching the gospel somewhere in LA, somewhere in Hollywood, you're preaching the gospel. And because you say that they manifest at your preaching, not at ours, but they manifest at yours, well then surely when you're preaching to them as they walk by, the demons will manifest and the demon will want to come out, you cast them out, and you have shown the world, rather than putting on some sort of rehearsed, some sort of contrived, some sort of generated, fictional, demon cast out, come out in Jesus' name, move that you guys have coming out, rather than doing that, why don't you put it to the test in the real world? Because after all, aren't we supposed to show what we have in us in the world? So why not do that? Prove me wrong, prove yourself right, show that you are the legitimate person that you say that you are, and make a believer out of us who just simply want to know the truth.